Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. You guessed it right, today we are doing a brisket. We're not doing any brisket, we're doing a easy, easy, easy brisket. Guys, we're making it simple, we're gonna make it delicious. It's pretty easy to do. We're gonna start with a relatively normal sized brisket, about 14 pounds before trimming. And we're gonna trim it up real basic, guys. Backyard trim, nothing special about that. Again, keeping it easy. So after we get rid of all that nasty, tough, fat, oxidized meat, fat around the edges, we work it down to about 12 pounds, I would say. Now, since we're doing this in the Traeger pellet grill, not going for super aerodynamic, which a lot of people do, probably should, but again, I'm just going really simple, guys. And then we're gonna season it up without any schmear, guys. We're gonna use coarse ground black pepper, and of course, salt, kosher sea salt. And guys, about a 25-75 ratio here, 25% being the uh, salt. So after we get it nice and seasoned up, we're gonna let that sit for about an hour while we get the Traeger all set up. And guys, we're using just a simple competition hardwood blend from Pit Boss. Uh, it's pretty good stuff. It's what I have available locally. So guys, I got this brisket on probably about 7 a.m still dark when I did all the trimming and stuff and the sun was just cracking dawn. So I'm using a Grillaholics grill mat, a non-stick grill mat this time because my experience with this Traeger has been doing these briskets that they tend to get burned and too crispy on the bottom for the way the heat comes up directly out the bottom. You know, it doesn't cross flow like a traditional offset smoker does. So the grill mats is going to help protect the bottom a little bit better. Of course, I went fat side down this time, and I'm going to be spritzing with some beef broth and water, 50-50 mix. Guys, I've already done that. I've checked to make sure that the uh, seasoning was on there. Now I'm going to be checking the internal temperature after about four or five hours with this handy little Thermo Pro. Pretty neat little $10 uh, instant read thermometer. It's a lot better than those $30 ones as far as size. It can fit your pocket. Uh, it's got a magnetic thing. It just sticks up there like that. Uh, pretty handy stuff. I'll leave a link down in the description. All right, guys, like I said, easy is the theme on today's brisket. We want to eat by 7 p.m. at the latest tonight. So I got that thing huffing at 275. After I wrap, I'm going to hit it to 300. And I'm only going to rest it for about an hour once it reaches about the 205 and stuff. If it's not quite probe tender, you know, like we usually do, now that's fine, guys. We're going to end up putting this in the fridge and having leftovers the rest of the week anyway. And we know tonight we're going to be hitting on that point. So we know that's going to be good. So guys, tell me down in the comments how you think an easy brisket should be cooked. If you got an easier way than this, go ahead and comment down below. Tell us all about it. All right, guys, look at that. I'd say this brisket is ready to wrap. Um, look at this beautiful bark here. It's already reading 180 in some places and 165 in other places. Uh, it's definitely beat the stall, so I'm just gonna give it a little bit of a wetting down. Put that paper just a little bit. All right. Now this is the beauty of having a reasonably sized brisket, guys. Now, I'm going to wrap it. Make sure when I finish wrapping it, it's going to be down. Right there. Okay. Alright. Alright, see that, guys? That's going to be how it's going to go in the oven now. 300 degrees, guys. And I'm going for about 205 in the point. Uh, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to get there in probably about uh, under three hours, making this total cook more like uh, nine or ten hours. So pretty quick. All right, guys, so uh, Sashi's been shopping all day. I've been slaving like a slave all day, you know, cooking brisket and stuff like that. On the that. set it, forget it. 
<laughs> so again, keeping with the theme, fast, easy brisket here. I don't think that brisket was under the heat more than eight hours. You know, between the Traeger, we wrapped about noon or so, put it in the oven, you know, to save pellets. Crank it up to 300 just the last few hours, two or three hours. Then I turned the oven off and it's been resting in the oven untouched. So it's still wrapped. Let's go ahead, unwrap it, carve into it, and let you check it out. And let me taste it. It's really not a very huge brisket, guys. And uh, that was the whole point of this exercise, is to have a small, manageable brisket that's super easy. Now, hey guys, don't forget, this paper, this paper makes great fire starter, okay? Oh, guys, look at that. Okay. Sassy's going to be jealous because she doesn't get to look at this right now. Okay. All right. All right, guys. So, again, salt and pepper. I cooked it on that grill mat, and I think it kind of helped out, guys. I really do. I think it kept it from burning and falling apart on the bottom. So, without further ado, guys... I'm just going to cut this baby in half and uh, shout out to my uh, brother-in-law Michael from Phoenix. Uh, he got me this as a present. Look at that knife. It's badass. I mean, okay. I'm just going to have to say that uh, juices are flowing. Yeah. All right, guys. Let's go ahead and uh, get that guy. I love a good uh, piece of point. It's a really thick knife, guys. Sorry about that. Okay. Look at that, guys. Okay, the bottom part kind of falling apart. You know, it's lean. Totally get it. Um, it's a lean piece of meat. All right. I'm not going to lie. Good brisket starts with what kind of quality piece do you have to begin with? Look at that. All right, ooh. ooh. This is more my flavor right here. Mmm. Mmm. Guys, this is so good. You know, we were only intending to eat from the point while it was still hot. The rest is probably gonna get refrigerated and we're gonna make brisket sandwiches the whole rest of the week and or however we decide to do it, maybe tacos. And trust me guys, this stuff reheats beautifully. You wouldn't even know that it was cooked fast like that. So guys, check it out. Total eight hours under the heat, two hours rest. That's all you need for a 12 pound brisket. And this is a choice. Thanks for watching guys. We'll see you on the next one.